air bases. They're the vital hubs of modern air power, launching points for fighters, home to massive transports, critical nodes in global defense. But being so important makes them prime targets. In today's world, the threats facing these bases are more diverse and dangerous than ever before. So how do you protect these crucial installations when danger can come from anywhere, anytime? The answer lies in point defense. Forget defending vast regions. Point defense is all about protecting this specific spot. Think of it as a highly focused shield, guarding the immediate area of the airbase against incoming attacks, especially from the air. And the threats they face? They're relentless. We're talking enemy jets screaming in low, stealthy cruise missiles hugging the terrain, swarms of unmanned drones, from tiny quadcopters to sophisticated military UAVs, and even the terrifyingly fast threat of rockets, artillery, and mortars, often called RAM. Protecting the personnel, the multi-million dollar aircraft, and the vital command centers is paramount. So, how do they fight back? Point defense isn't just one weapon. It's a team of systems working together in layers. And what about the biggest modern headache? Drones. CUAS, or Counter Unmanned Aircraft Systems, are booming. First, you have to find them. Using specialized radar that can spot tiny targets, cameras that see day and night, or even systems that listen for their control signals. Then, you stop them. This could mean jamming their controls with electronic warfare systems like the drone gun, forcing them to land or crash. It might mean using lasers to literally zap them out of the sky, a technology being added to systems like MSHORAD right now. Or you might use traditional guns and missiles, or even nets. But here's the crucial part. None of these systems work alone. They're all linked together. Radars and sensors detect the threat, feed data into a command and control system, the brain of the operation, which then tells the best weapon which target to hit. It's about seamless integration for split-second decisions. It's a strategy of layered defense. If one system misses, another gets a chance. Air bases also use passive defenses, hardening shelters, dispersing aircraft so they aren't all clustered together, making them harder targets. Concepts like the U.S. Air Force's agile combat employment using more smaller bases changes the defense game too. So, point defense of air bases. It's a complex, high-stakes combination of cutting-edge technology and smart strategy. What do you think is the biggest future threat to air bases? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this look at modern base defense interesting, Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more insights into military technology and strategy. Thanks for watching.